Hello from London. Listen, here at Love in London, we love telling you guys about great places you can eat and drink that the locals love here. However, there are some places that are so good that Londoners just wanna gatekeep them, keep them to ourselves so the tourists don't know about it. But in this video, we are not doing that. We're gonna take you to some places that Londoners love so much and don't want the tourists to know about, but we're gonna take you anyway so you can eat and drink well too. So let's go. First up, we've come to Maida Vale in West London to Cafe La Vale. And if you've ever wanted to romanticize your life while you sip a flat white and look over the beautiful Regent's Canal, this is the perfect place to do it. So come on. So this is not only a cafe, but it's also an Italian restaurant where they serve pasta, pizza, focaccia sandwiches. So I have gone for a cappuccino and a tiramisu, which I'm waiting to dive into. We're in a very local area that honestly tourists don't come to very often. So it's a lovely, relaxed neighborhood feel in here. And if you come to visit, you can have your coffee and then we're right on Regent's Canal. So you could go in either direction and see some of the most beautiful parts of London. Oh, oh look at that. Mm. So if you go up that direction on the canal, then you get to Paddington and Paddington Basin where there's some lovely cafes and restaurants. And there is even a cafe restaurant on a boat, which we have covered in our West London guide. So watch that video next. Next up, we are in Spitalfields, but not the part that the tourists are usually in, over by the market, over where the locals usually are. And I'm gonna show you this place behind me, which is called the Coal Pepper. And the Coal Pepper is a pub, a restaurant, and it has a rooftop garden where you can have drinks. Not only can you get good food, good drinks, and a good atmosphere here, there's also an amazing sustainability aspect to this place. So. Come on in, I'm gonna show you. Thank you. Okay, the food in this pub is so, so good. So I have had these two dishes before. This is the agnolotti with nuts and other delicious things. There's pumpkin in there as well. And then this is the um, mushroom orzotto. I remember both of these being absolutely amazing. I also went for the polenta fries, polenta strips with a lovely green sauce on the side. And this is, I think, my favorite pub to eat in in all of London. It just has top-notch food. We're here during the week for lunch, so we're downstairs. But if you come on a weekend for lunch or you come for dinner, you will book a table up in the dining room, which is absolutely stunning. I highly recommend getting up there. They also have a fabulous rooftop where you can come for drinks and to check out the amazing sustainability part of this place. They actually grow loads of their own veggies and herbs up here that they use in their food. So if you come here to eat, it's super likely you'll eat something that was grown literally on the roof of the restaurant. Side note, you might be aware that I moved to London from the US about 10 years ago. And for the first three years of that time here, everything was really fun and easy. But around the four year mark, things started to feel a lot more difficult. I was feeling quite disconnected from my life back in the US and actually feeling quite down. That's how I started my own personal therapy journey. And about a year later, I was feeling much better and also learned a lot about how my mind worked. I'm really grateful for that initial experience because I really leaned on therapy a couple of years later when I was going through my divorce. So I'm a big therapy advocate and I still use it today. So I love that we now have a paid partnership with BetterHelp who connect you with 
with a credentialed therapist who are trained to listen and give you helpful advice virtually. When getting started with therapy, it can be scary to try to find a therapist that's gonna be the right fit for you. But BetterHelp makes that as simple as possible. Just fill out the initial questionnaire to assess your specific needs, and you'll be matched with a therapist, usually within 48 hours. Mine was very quick. Schedule your session at a time that's convenient for you, and if you feel like the therapist you're matched with initially is not the right fit, which is quite common when you're starting therapy, you can switch to a new one at no extra cost. If you think you might benefit from therapy, definitely consider BetterHelp. Click the link down in the description box or go to betterhelp.com slash loveandlondon. You'll not only be supporting this channel, but you'll also get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp to see if it works for you. Okay, back to the video. Okay, my next recommendation isn't for just one place, but loads of really cool breweries, bars, and distilleries in one of my favorite areas of the city, Bermondsey. There's a roughly one mile stretch called the Bermondsey Beer Mile, where you can go on a really cool pub crawl and try loads of locally brewed beers, gins, and even mead. It's such a cool way of both exploring Bermondsey in Southeast London and trying out local drinks. I'm actually not gonna start off with a drink, but I'm going to a street food market nearby called Maltby Street Market to get something to soak up the booze. A lot of the bars around here are only really open on a Saturday afternoon, so you'll join loads of other groups of Londoners doing the same mile long stretch. Maybe you'll make some local friends along the way. And there's no official guide on how to do it. It's a really organic, unofficial route carved by locals over the years. Distilleries and breweries open and close, so it's always a little bit different. Right now, there's somewhere around 20 breweries and distilleries you can go to, but that number will probably look different when you visit. There's loads of variety, so you'll be able to choose a route that works best for you. Even if you're a pretty big drinker, you won't be able to hit all of them. Our next location is a speakeasy bar here in Shoreditch in East London. And this is a great place to come if you want a really experiential, cool night out in London. Right next to me is a very unassuming door, but if you push it open and you head down the stairs, you will end up in Lounge Bohemia. This is a tiny, intimate bar that is by appointment only that does the most experimental and special cocktails, I think, in the entire city. This cocktail is called the Canadian Breakfast and it was basically made in front of us. Came with little pancakes with blueberries, but then on the side there was a granita that was then mixed with this maple syrup concoction and it made a little breakfast smoothie. They have a super interesting menu with so many choices, no matter what kind of drink you like, or if you really wanna make a night of it, you can do one of their tasting menus. Now, like I said, this place is really tiny, so you do need to book in advance, and they do have one rule, no suits. We've made it down to Brixton in South London, and behind me is Chip Shop, which is a restaurant, bar, and live music venue. And it's quite famous because it's had some pretty major rappers perform here, like Klashnikov and Ice-T. They also do community-based open mic nights, and they help to support the local up-and-coming talent in the area. It's called Chip Shop because the owners wanted to combine the two things that they love, hip hop and fish and chips. So you can actually go in here and still get fish and chips as well as a load of other comfort food like loaded nachos, burgers, vegetarian fish and chips, tons of stuff. So you're gonna come here, get some good food, get some drinks and have amazing buzzy vibes. If you go to any of the places that we talked about in this video, be sure to tag us on Instagram so we can see. And of course, check out the casual tourist guides, which are linked in the description box of the video. And we have hundreds of other videos you can watch to help you with your trip to London. You can do so by clicking one of the boxes popping up right around me.